Hi there. Uh, this video shows you how you might use the index function. Now you may have seen the index function, it's already on our website, just an example of how that works, but you might be wondering how do I practically use this? Well, I recently used the index function to answer a question of, from one of our clients. She wanted to know, say for instance I've got salespeople here, and these are all the sales that they've done, I want to add an auto sum that will auto sum up to the previous month. So to give you an example, today's date is the 7th of September. And so basically I don't want to include September sales in this just yet because they, they aren't completed. It's only when they're completed, when we're in the month of October, then I want to include the sales. So sum to previous month. So how do I do it? Well, the index function is an ideal function for this. So how does this work? Well, firstly, let's just click in cell N2. And uh, we're going to click in the button, uh, the formula bar at the top. Just going to type in sum equals sum. But instead of typing in the range of values, you're going to use the index function to select the range. So type in index. And then the first argument is selecting the array or the list of cells I want to add up. So in this case, B2 to M2. And then type in a comma and type in a number one because it's the first lot in that cell I want to start from, i.e. the cell B2. It's the first item in the array. I type in a colon for my uh, auto sum. And now I type in the index again. And select the range again list and this time I need to type in the month number now I could just type in an 8 which will be August but the problem is when we as soon as we go to September then that's going to turn into a 9 and as soon as we go to October 10 and so on so what I need to do is get the month or extract the month from today's date so the way we do that is by using the month function uh, and then that will extract the month from today now it's last month we're interested in, so we minus 1 from that result. And close off the brackets for the index, and then we close off the brackets for the auto sum. Press enter, and we can see our result here. It's 56,624. So that's the sum of January to August, but it does not include September. If you want to, let's prove that. Uh, without a doubt. So first thing is if we type in equals sum, we'll do an awful auto sum on this by adding all these figures up. Press enter. You can see ordinarily without the index it would be 64,245. That's adding all the figures including September. And to make absolutely sure, a simple calculation will prove this beyond the shadow of a doubt, taking the total minus in the sum till previous month. And you can see that the figure is the same as September. It's not including any of September's figures. Now we're armed with that, we can then auto fill this down so we can get rest of the figures. And only when the uh, date has gone into October of this current year, it will then carry on uh, and calculate the, uh, or include the figures for September in the calculation. So I hope that answers the question uh, for our clients and also hope it helps you out there. Uh, for any more videos, please see www.computertutoring.co.uk. Thanks for watching.